This is a bubble. This is a long bubble. This is a bubble popping. This is a giant bubble. Bubbles are tricky things. They can disappear at any moment. But if you catch one, you'll see that it's quite magical. Everything a bubble touches becomes slippery. The bowl, my hands, and even the floor. Ready to learn how to make a giant bubble? Then let's get science! Whoa! To make a giant bubble, you only need two things. Bubble mixture and a bubble wand. Let's start by making the bubble mixture first. Start with a clean bowl and add six cups of demineralized water. You can find this in your local hardware store or some supermarkets. The second step is to add half a cup of dishwashing liquid to the bowl. I use the Fairy brand, which is what we call Dawn Dish Soap here in Australia. The third step is to add one tablespoon of baking powder. And the last step is to add one tablespoon of glycerin. You can find this in most supermarkets. Give the ingredients a really good stir, but try not to stir too fast or make too many bubbles at this stage. Before I make the bubble wand, I want to quickly show you how to make a heap of bubbles using only your hands. Make sure your hands are clean and then place them in the bowl of bubble mixture. Lock your fingers together like this, leaving small gaps. Hold your hands away from your face and gently blow. Awesome! All right, now to make the bubble wand. Whoa! To make the bubble wand, cut a piece of 16 millimeter dowel 30 centimeters long. You can get this from your local hardware store. Next, take a ring screw and screw it into one end of the dowel. Repeat these steps to make a second one. Get some cotton rope and cut a piece two meters long. Thread this through one of the rings, then add a weight. I'm using a nut. And then thread it through the other ring. Tie the two ends together. And that's your bubble wand. To use it, place the two rings together with the knot at the top and the weight at the bottom. Then add all of the rope to the bowl. Take it out and move the two sticks apart. Blow your bubble. Or move the wand around. I'm going to take this down to the park to see how big I can make the bubbles. Let's go! Thank you for watching this episode of Silly Science with Simon, where we learned how to make giant bubbles. This is my last video for the year. I've had a heap of fun making these videos, and I hope you've enjoyed watching them and trying some of the science without making too much of a mess. I'll see you again next year for more Science with Silly Simon. Wait!